Hello, hello, it's Wessel here, and thanks for joining me on my adventures in SnowRunner in hard mode. I'm going to start a new adventure starting today, and basically try and run through a one hour daily run. So basically that's one hour of my time, which equates to 24 hours of game time uh, each day to work through all of SnowRunner, starting at Black River in Michigan and heading through to the end, be that in uh, Tennessee or somewhere else by the time I get there, who knows. I'm going to run this in hard mode and see how much I can make by the end of it in terms of uh, looking after my money. So um, because I'm limited to one hour, I'm going to try and get straight into it and uh, head on our way. We're just going to brighten up the paint job, but other than that, I'm not going to change the configuration or the setup for the uh, for the chev. Um, we just need to conserve our money for the moment. So I'm going to head off and uh, and start to do some scouting here in Black River, uh, with a view to trying to find uh, as many upgrades and watchtowers uh, as I can. Uh, as we go around the map. Find a couple of trailers over on the side and spy the Fleet Star over here. Now I'm not going to do anything with the Fleet Star at the moment. Um, it basically is undrivable uh, as you find it. Um, so I could hop straight into it and then recover to the garage, but that would cost a fair bit of money. Otherwise I could bring the service trailer over and repair it, but I'll do that a little bit later on because I think uh, I don't want to do that with the with the Chev. We'll do that later on with the GMC or another truck. So it just means I have to be a little bit more careful because I'm going to go out exploring uh, in the Chev without any backup. So if I fall over, roll over, uh, I'm basically going to be left uh, having to recover to the garage, which will use up almost all of my cash money reserves. So time to concentrate. head down this this muddy path and uh, see if we can find first of all the the first upgrade which I think is a suspension upgrade for the GMC MH9500 Starters, I'm going to head over past the farm and find some tasks and a watchtower over this way first.
Now for those that haven't played hard mode before or don't know the difference between hard mode and regular mode, uh, basically the game is pretty much the same. The difference being is that in hard mode you have to pay for um, a, a lot of the elements that are free in the standard game. So when you buy fuel at a fuel station, you have to pay for it. Uh, when you restock your repair spare parts, you have to pay for them. Uh, we'll just grab that task, which is a missing oil tanker. So here we are at a, at a fuel station. So if I wanted to, I could purchase fuel and top up at $3 a litre. Now, I'd rather not do that because I need to save my money. And that's the whole point of hard mode, is trying to uh, balance your uh, outlay. Um, it's a bit like risk and versus reward, uh, but trying to limit the amount you're spending uh, versus the amount you get back for doing the various tasks and contracts. So we'll, we'll keep exploring out here and see what other tasks and things we can find. River there's a lot of um, road repair or bridge repair or roadblock type tasks and they're the ones we're going to need to do early in the game uh, because it then opens up the roads to allow us to travel along the main roads rather than like I am now having to go up a muddy track to do a sort of a, uh, a loop around to uh, get past that that bridge that we haven't built. Now in the scouts it's fine, we can do that, but I don't really want to be doing that when I'm pulling some cargo around. There we are, first watchtower's open. up here to the second watchtower. It's going to be a bit of a tricky uh, incline to come up, particularly in highway tyres. I uh, just have to be a bit careful. Keep the nose pointing uphill.
coming this way so I don't knock the fences over because I'm trying to be a good corporate citizen. <laughs> they come round the fences. Now this is quite a steep decline here. So I'll pop it in low gear just to make sure we don't go down the hill quite too quickly. Nice and easy. There's our second watchtower. take a slight detour and head on down to the upgrade that is hiding down here. This is the engine upgrade for the Fleet Star and also the GMC and White Western Star later on. So this is a useful one to have. We will definitely be using this uh, initially in the Fleet Star and then probably later in the White Western Star. If all goes to plan. Blocks. I accept that. Do that one later. I'm basically going around trying to collect all the tasks up and accepting them. So that means I can then execute them in the sequence that I want to do later on and don't have to come back and buy them up as I'm going as I'm starting them.
through here and find an upgrade a bit along this way. Snow Runner gearbox for the small scout vehicles. found at the same fuel station we were at before yeah, that is a heavy fuel tanker that we can refuel from now this is actually a contract tanker we need to deliver as one of the contract tasks later on um, but as long as we leave it at 10% or more of its volume then uh, we'll be able to complete the contract so that gives us free fuel for 90% of that each of those trailers that are contract ones so we'll use that up and save the rest. Now we'll head on back and uh, explore a bit more up the western side of the map. So we would clear the road. We might jump in the driver's seat now. We've got some flat road to drive in. I like driving in the driver's seat in some parts of the game. It sort of adds to the immersion in the game. And it's just another neat part. As 
I said before, we're going to head up this western side, or head over to the western side of the map, and then we'll run up the western side, up a couple of tracks to open up a, a watchtower and find a couple more upgrades. seat again now. It gets a bit tricky to see where you are when you're in, a, when you're in that first person mode. Here we'll discover the raised suspension and an engine upgrade, both for this chef. the sort of spot you can have get through first time no trouble or sometimes like I am today you find you struggling to get the angles right to get through there we go now we've done it there is a tree there you can winch on um, but you know we can try not to do that if we can avoid it suspension for the chev. We'll be fitting that when we get back to the garage later on. Just carefully turn around.
one thing I've found in hard mode it's it's not a race there's very few times where you've actually got to go you know as fast as you can I mean the contest will put a time pressure on but for regular tasks and scouting about uh, you're generally better off to go slow and steady be a bit patient uh, because in hard mode if you damage your vehicle uh, when you need to pay for repairs and that's another cost that you could have avoided yes you can repair your, your truck from a, a service trailer or a maintenance trailer but um, eventually you'll need to rep replace those spare parts particularly if you use a, uh, a, a trunk supplies kit something like that uh, and um, that's just another cost that if you can avoid it by being a bit more careful that um, you don't need to pay and there's no added value in finishing a task two minutes earlier or two minutes later there's, uh, there's no time limit on tasks and contracts it's only on contests and even in those, for a lot of the time, you've got enough leeway there that you can be careful and still achieve the, the contest gold result. Now we're going to come up here and find the engine upgrade for the Chev. on see if we can find the, uh, the scout 800 at the top of the northwest corner of the map Take a little shortcut here and cut off some windy, bumpy roads. Rejoin the road here.
there we are. Oh, we found the we found the Scout 800. Now the Scout 800 is another Scout vehicle, obviously. Um, and it's uh, it's a good little one. Um, so it comes with uh, always on the diff lock always on and four wheel drive so it's a it's a good early scouting vehicle but its drawback is that it's it's quite narrow in its track so between the wheels and it's also quite tall so it has a bit of a tendency to be a bit more unstable than the chef so although it's good at going through the mud you don't want to get it on the wrong angle because it's a little bit more prone to, to tipping over so you just have to go slow and carefully keep it pointing uphill it's a bit tricky just not quite turning well there. Now we're on. We'll take the scout down the hill back down into the town and uncover a few more tasks uh, and a, another watchtower. Dark, so I'll pop the lights on, which will help. Hop in the driver's seat for a bit just to see what this one looks like. A little bit more rudimentary in the uh, in the cockpit.
Up another upgrade over here. Which is the raised suspension for the Fleet Star. And then continue on and just activate the wooden bridge task. the sawmill or to the sawmill and then turn off to find the GMC MH9500.
Now we've found that one, we might swap into the GMC and give that a run. GMC is a, a highway truck. Uh, doesn't have all-wheel drive initially. Doesn't have a, a diff lock, so, and it's on highway tyres. So it's uh, pretty much fighting with one hand behind its back to start with. But when you can get the uh, the upgrades for it, it becomes quite a useful truck. Um, We'll use it a little bit here in uh, Michigan, but probably not as much as we'll use the Fleet Star and, uh, and some of the other trucks we'll find later on, simply because of that lack of all-wheel drive. Right now I'm going to run it back up to the garage where it can repair and fix up the Fleet Star. Let's go over and grab the service trailer and bring it over to the fleet star to repair it.
we'll also get the upgrade, which is the all-wheel drive for the fleet star. We'll repair the fleet star from the service trailer, where it needs 530 repair points plus six wheels. So, luckily the service trailer has got more than enough to do that. So there we go. Now one fully repaired Fleet Star. And while we're here, we'll just transfer a little bit of fuel from the GMC to the Fleet Star. Good. And then just push the GMC out of the way. back into the garage. Cool. Then we'll hop in the Fleet Star and do the same. Okay. So now we've got both of them into the garage. We'll just swap things around a little bit. I'm going to take the sideboard bed off of the GMC and give it a low saddle. And while we're here, we'll give it a little paint job as well. Make it the blue two-tone rather than orange. And... On the Fleet Star, we'll do a bit more work. So first up, we'll install the engine upgrade that we found. We'll give it the raised suspension, and we'll sell the stock suspension, because I'm not going to need that again. Now, when you sell things in hard mode, you only get half the value. So although it's 4,700 there, uh, we only get half that. I'm going to give it bigger wheels, because I've raised it. Now, they're not great because they're still highway tyres and I can't get the all-terrain tyres for a little while yet. But at least they've got a bigger diameter so they'll hopefully work a little bit better. Sell the other ones. Got the engageable diff on. We'll buy a snorkel just in case we go through deep water. We'll install the all-wheel drive and sell the rear-wheel drive. And we'll put on the sideboard bed that we just took off the GMC. And most importantly, buy a loading crane so that we can load manually and not have to pay for $150 for every cargo we load. Okay, there's a couple other things we can do. It comes with stock wheel fenders. We don't need those, so we'll uninstall them and sell them. And... We will give it a nice blue and white paint job. Okay. Then we can hop out of the garage. Start on maybe earning some money. going to load up these metal beams into the tray and take those to the farm because they'll be used for a contract later on. So rather than leave them here, we'll take them with us.
Okay, and then we'll head on our way, but we will start the farming tool contract. So that we can do the first the first contract element, which is quite a simple one of simply just taking this curtain side trailer from here down to the farm. seat. It's a bit of fun. We haven't been in the driver's seat for the Fleet Star yet. slow and muddy flow going along here, pulling the trailer and carrying the metal beams at the same time, but the Fleet Star can do it. It's a great little truck. This is one of my favourite uh, trucks. It's probably my favourite early game truck. It, it just tries. <laughs> There's no stopping it. going to offload these metal beams just before we get to the, the drop point so they're ready for that later contract. Side trailer to the farm to complete the farming tools task. Here we go. It's our first thousand dollars, ten fifty, for doing a task. All right, we're going to hop back into the GMC and uh, and bring that over. Head that over to the town. Oop. Or maybe we might just stay in this one. Yeah, let's stay in this one. We'll do we'll load up some consumables. And the reason I'm doing that is for the Steel River Supplies task. So again, in hard mode, you want to try and always be thinking about how you can be bringing cargo around for a, a later contract. The more you can you know, not waste a trip, and the more efficient your, uh, your, tr your, your journeys will be. I'll be trying throughout to not be travelling around with an empty tray if I can avoid it.
down here is a task, and more importantly, is a fuel trailer. Grab that task as we pass. pretty short on fuel, so we will refuel from that one. And then we're going to take that down into the town, which is pretty much where I'm heading with these consumables. So that'll be a very useful spot just to leave it for refueling for various other things as I go along. Be careful going through these guys, they can damage your truck if you're not too careful, particularly the, the bottoms of them. there, check the time. Oh, it's nine o'clock, so that's a little bit later than what I would have liked. But that pretty much is a good spot to stop for today. And that's the end of my first day uh, of SnowRunner in hard mode. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you can join me again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.